Hi, I'm Michael Curtis from Oregon, and I'm here because I have advanced prostate cancer. Um, I have uh, bone spots and I have lymph nodes that are involved, so it's not a trivial thing. I've done uh, probably all I can get out of Western medicine. I've um, been treated by a doctor who's uh, really seriously into the proper diet for what condition I have, and that's good. I'm seeing a Chinese doctor who's doing uh, anti-cancer herbs and and um, uh, acupuncture. And uh, I thought this was the next logical step to cover the spiritual end of what can we do to, to um, keep me alive. And I'm quite happy with what I'm doing. Uh, I've seen some miracles here. This is toward the end of my second week. Um, it is a absolutely phenomenal place. A lot of spirit, a lot of, um, a lot of um, people that have a high amount of hope and people that have demonstrated and I've witnessed uh, some of what happens here and I'm certainly glad to hear Hi, I'm Seward Ryan. Uh, I had a liver transplant three and a half years ago and it didn't work as well as they'd hoped. And so uh, they were running out, of, they, they told me that they had no, uh, no uh, treatment for me from Western medicine. And so I started looking around at uh, alternative things and I came here a year and a half ago, went in front of uh, John of God and received a miraculous healing. I went home to Connecticut where I live and uh, sent my blood in like I do to Mayo Clinic where I had the transplant done and they were surprised to see that uh, my levels were all normal and they've remained that way over the past 15 months. And uh, so I came back to see what else I could uh, figure out. The one thing that has occurred to me since I've been here uh, was that this healing really came from the God within me, not so much from the medium, John, but he opened my eyes to that and uh, sort of took away that, that veil of, of illusion that I live with and uh, my construction of reality, which also contains my limits. And the limits were my, uh, what, what I thought, the big, biggest limit I had was my prognosis. I didn't think I was going to be able to survive and uh, I was able to remove that. And, uh, and Extremely grateful. My name is Matthew Coles, and I've been dancing with sugar for 52 years. I've been an insulin dependent diabetic, and when I saw the success that my friend Seward Ryan I had with his difficulty, which is much more severe, I asked him if there were a way I could go, and he said, why don't you come along with me, and that's why I'm here. And it's been a remarkable uh, experience. I have noted, I have noted, though, though I, I'm not completely cured from this condition, I have noted a definite improvement in the working of my, uh, the island of Langerhans in my pancreas, which does produce more insulin. But, but day to day, there, there's a different amount. So another thing that is applicable to this uh, diabetes is that I've been able to eliminate certain of the, uh, the dosages that I take, especially the ones at night. I, used to take a certain amount at night and I found that I could eliminate that entirely and wake in the morning with absolutely normal figures. Hello, my name is Nikos Pavlidinas. I'm coming from Greece and uh, the reason I'm here I don't know yet. I'm a bit confused. It's the second time I'm here. For sure, I'm more relaxed, and uh, I feel uh, that uh, we live in a plastic world. What I have to say uh, about, uh, I think that Greeks we have in our DNA all this uh, part of the healing, because Asclepio, it was uh, the first hospitals in ancient Greece that they 
they use to meditate and to heal the same way. What is missing is uh, that theater, art, I mean art, theater, dance, uh, music, it was part of the healing. And I think, I feel that in this place, uh, this part is missing. Thank you. I'm David Curtis from Boca Raton, Florida, US of A. And I came down here to Abhijanya um, two years ago because I had two skin cancers on my shoulders, shoulder chest area. Saw John of God and the one over the last two years has completely healed up. I therefore am back now to see John of God again with the hope and I believe the trust that it will heal the one that's given me a problem. Mike, first of all, thank you for the laundry background. You can edit this part out, I can't help it. I'm Donna Dish from the Northwest part of the United States. And you can take your choice whether it's from Welch's or Salem, Oregon. And I've known about John of God for maybe, I want to say seven years. That's a nice number. Thanks to my friend and counselor, Howard Brockman. So I always thought at some point I would be coming here. And Howard's the one when we learned that Michael had an illness where we had very few choices that we could make in the U.S., we were looking for some great alternatives. And this one really rose to the top very quickly. And we wasted very little time preparing to come down here after we learned about Michael's situation. And I think I'm, number one, grateful that Michael was open to it. Um, I was open to it for a long time just because of the adventure of it all. I think the biggest struggle for me coming down here was I came down to support Michael, realizing the whole time I'd have to work on myself. And that's a little challenging and looking for the right things to ask um, put me in a place to do a little searching. So one of the gains that we'll have is that I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go back and live life just the way I have. There have been many spirit things happening here, which is wonderful, but also a lot of human interactions, but I think that's all the same thing. So I'm looking forward to the changes in my life. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, actually big changes coming, and I look forward to those too.